everyone, and Chica here, and it's the weekend, so that means it's time for another DC World Base Showcase here on the channel, and today I got another very special one lined up for you guys. So Death Stenju is no stranger to the channel, I will link one of their bases up above for you guys to go check out, and also they are a content creator here on YouTube, so I will link their channel in the description. I'll also have it at the end of the video for you guys to go over there and subscribe and check them out. They have all kinds of cool style videos that they do weekly, as well as they've done a few base tours too, so go check them out. Um, but yeah, so today we have a very special base by them, one that I've been really stoked to share with you guys for a while now. Uh, so if you guys didn't know, as a little bit of a context for this base, uh, we have a Discord group called the Base Crafters, and over there we share tips and tricks and uh, projects. Uh, works in progress. We also talk about ideas. We brainstorm together. Some people have even made bases and collaborated together over there. All kinds of base news. There's a lot of good resources for base decorators here on DCUO. Uh, but Sinju basically took the Base Crafters Discord and turned it into a base here on the game. A Base Crafter HQ, if you will. So without further ado, why don't we go check out the Sinju's Base Crafters HQ. So, Sinju actually asked a bunch of the base crafters, I think this base was made back in January or February, if I'm not mistaken. And um, I believe they, they asked a bunch of uh, the members, they put out a call to action, said, hey, if you want to have uh, some of your work featured on the channel, let me see your bases and let me know. And uh, I'll get you guys... Ah, there we go. All uh, base crafters. I'll put some stuff in here for you. So it's kind of cool. We're going to get to see a what bunch of the crafters. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we enter from here, of course, with the teleporter. We have a little rope here. And here's our check-in. Oh, it's so good. Mixie's the check-in. Oh, we have a bit of extra security, too. Always nice. <laughs> but yeah, a bunch of different uh, crafters actually like uh, showed Sinju their base. And uh, Sinju... Uh, recreated it here in the H -cra Base Crafters HQ, like little, little, uh, uh, like, uh, vignettes, pretty much. So, uh, that'll be fun to go check out. So we have security here. We have clearance, luckily. <laughs> I hope, you know, just because I w I'd be scared to, uh, to not have clearance here. <laughs> oh, we have the information desk. Very cool. Of course, you walk in, you can always ask questions. <laughs> Oh, this is great. Look at all this. So we have a lounge here at the beginning or a sitting area. Bookcases. Ooh. And the pride flags. It is pride month after all. Very nice. <laughs> very festive. Commence extreme eradication sequence. Well, that's not very festive. I have clearance. Get out of here. <laughs> Oh, this is great. I love, of course, the multiverse because various different bases are represented in here from various different creators, which is fun. Including which our first is going to be Smooth from their base entitled Smooth with a bunch of binary codes. <laughs> or binary, uh, binary attached to it. I think this was from uh, uh, A Decade in Decor. I think it was a base Smooth was working on for a while, though. For sure. Uh, but I have featured it here on the channel. I don't think I'll be able to link all the bases that have been seen or showcased here. But I'll try my best. I think I'm only limited to like five of above for you guys to check out. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. But yeah, it's like a Brainiac takeover base. So this is like a little vignette from, from part of the, the chaos. The uh, encroaching chaos that was that base. Ooh. Okay, so let's head upstairs. Uh, where we see another uh, base that has just recently been featured here on the channel once again. We have DC Cheetah's Erzgurtaga Temple being represented with an Erzgurtaga Shrine. And just for the safety of all the uh, other Base Crafters members, you know, in case you don't want to partake in the Plant God Ritual, uh, you know, we got a little bit of fencing here, so, you know, safety first. <laughs> in case you don't want to uh, dive into uh, the occult arts. <laughs> Oh, so cool. And then we have a table here, which I think is supposed to represent Rill, actually. Uh, I don't know what base this one is from, but I know that Rill and Sinju have talked about item combos in the past. And I know this is this is a pretty cool table, actually. So, very nice. <laughs> Let's go up the right side next here. 
So we have a few more vignettes. Why did you this place one. that there? <laughs> oh, I hear ambush bugs skulking around, but of course. <laughs> this is from Alexandros's base. I think it was called Greece, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, though. But remember that really cool, like, artist area with the tarp under, like, underneath the sculpture for the carving? I think that's what this represents. Oh, it's so cool. And then we have, uh, from Blood Cursed Castle from Psychotech, the Ouija board with the planchette there in the middle, which is awesome. Oh, man. Maybe one day we'll get an actual Ouija board, which would be crazy. But for now, that's such a good item clip. Look at that. Comments extreme eradication sequence. Man, I am... <laughs> I like how they're like, comments extreme eradication that just flies away casually. <laughs> So we have the elevator up above because we had it down below, too. And this little alcove. Very nice. I didn't even check the other alcove. Oh, we have another elevator over here! Perfect! Double elevators. No waiting. <laughs> Alright, so let's check out the left side now. Which we have two more mock-ups. Oh, this one's from Smooth searching for Starro base. How fun is that? Oh man, that's great. <laughs> the Staros taking over the city. Such a cool use of items. I love that. And then I believe this is from Psychotech's other base. I think this is from Gehenna, if I'm not mistaken. Though it could be from Blood Curse Castle, too. It might be, but I think this might be from Gehenna, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, so cool. Oh, man. And also, just shout out to Sinju for like seeing how something's made and then being able to recreate it like that's also like mad skills as well so that's very cool so many homages <laughs> all right let's head down the left hallway first so we have all kinds of artifacts here of course oh and then we have our our trade room <laughs> we also have a trading area in our base crafters however most crafters are very uh uh, uh, you know, because if you guys don't know, actually, this might just be, be representing the broker in general, because, uh, if you guys don't know, creating a base can get expensive, because, uh, people aren't very kind with, uh, reselling furniture on the broker. <laughs> Most times. So having, uh, Necron back there, uh, dealing with the gold is kind of, uh, interesting. Also, the hospital bed back there, I'm not exactly how I feel about that. <laughs> Bleeding you dry to create a base, maybe? <laughs> oh, that's so good. I love it. <laughs> Alright, so let's head into this room. Which... Oh, cool! We have another mock-up. I believe this is Alexandros as well. From the same base, Greece, I do believe. Ooh. How nice. Look at that. Great item combos, honestly. And then here, ooh, it looks like we have almost like a 3D printer of sorts here. Like, it looks like we could, like, create, I wish, dude, I wish we had that in the game where we could just create a piece of furniture here. <laughs> oh, man, that's really neat. I'm not sure if that's representing anybody's base, actually, but let me know, Sinju. I'm sure Sinju will probably be watching this, so if I missed anything, let me know what this is. I like this, though. Looks like a giant 3D printer, honestly. Which... I think it would be great. <laughs> oh, another uh, reference to Psychotech. This one's definitely Skinner's uh, kitchen, given the body is on the flames here. <laughs> and the blood moon for of the blood, uh, blood curse castle. <laughs> oh, this is great. Now here, I think... Yes! Alright, I told you guys that Sinju takes style picks, but a lot of other crafters also definitely take pride in their style along with their bases. So we have a photo shoot area. <laughs> I'm trying to get my photo taken. Get out of here. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. How about let's do let's do witch mark to Chica. <laughs> and I think I have like an emo oh yeah. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on here. And, ah, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Alright, back to OG Achika for 
for minimal obstruction of the base tour. <laughs> and then over here... Oh, we have a changing room! Oh, that's too perfect for the styles! Oh, that's great! Changing room as well as a, a photo studio. Very, very nice. Alright, so let's head this way. It looks like we have some lockers here, of course, for storage. Lots of storage. And then it looks like we come to... Ooh, nice! Okay, so this is the brainstorming area. Our creation lab of the Base Crafters HQ. So we have, of course, lots and lots of desks of brainstorming. Maps to everybody's bases in-game. So we can uh, access them. <laughs> and share our discoveries with everybody. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, look at this. So this is like the research area. And I believe this table is also referencing real as well. Look at this. Oh, it's so cool. All the different items around. Oh, that's great. And the world here. Perfect for the R&D room. <laughs> Again, all the different desks. Lots of books for references. Ah, the printer! This is one of Sinju's creations, if I'm not mistaken. An original for the printer. Which is so cool. And again, you hear the beeping. This was also featured in a GCPD as well. Their uh, Iconoclash entry, which will be featured on the channel uh, at some point later down the line. <laughs> Again, more lockers for people to store their things. And then I believe we're, we're, we're going up to the break room. Oh, cool. Of course, you have to have the Batman posters or just some kind of iconic DC things in here. We have a lot of iconic uh, individuals that are in base crafters and also do iconic bases. And it is DCUO, so we have to have some, some comic stuff littered throughout here. And let's see what's behind here. <gasps> oh, look at the bathroom! Oh my gosh, these sinks are gorgeous! And the Sunstone Divider has a huge mirror! Oh, that's great. Look at all the toilets. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Oh, and then we have another bathroom, but of course. <laughs> the garbage can, too, in the corner. Very nice. Oh, that's great. And I think this is the hangout lounge. Look at this. So when we're done, you know, we're taking a break from decorating. Uh, we have a nice little chill hangout area where we discuss various topics. Of course, we have some comics sitting around. We have a bar, you know, to get some libations while we're relaxing. Or some food, too. You know, some munchies. <laughs> Music, of course. We have to have the video game consoles. <laughs> And a dining area here, and plenty of coffee. <laughs> and sweet treats! Oh, this is awesome. Look at this kitchen! Oh, it's so good! <laughs> oh, and there's Ambush Bug. Walking around. How's it going, Ambush? <laughs> Hanging in there? <laughs> I like how he's been completely quiet this whole time, except to just ask me why I put that there. That seems very on brand. All right, and I see something familiar uh, peeking through the corner here. So this looks like this is a filming area for uh, those of us who do base tours or are creating content on YouTube. So we have a dressing area here to prep for on screen as well as a generator for all the lighting. Look at this, guys. Look at this! <laughs> Hey everyone, Achika here, and I'm reporting from the Base Crafter HQ. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is... I'm pretty sure this is spot on almost. This is incredible. Oh my gosh, Sinju, this is so good at the camera too. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so neat. I can't believe you did that. That's so cool. Wow, that's so bad. How you replicated that is crazy. Because the first, like, so the first item in Alchemy Casa, that's where this teleporter is located. Like, I literally just threw things up there to 
start making videos. You know, like, because when I was touring other people's bases, I was just like, okay, I'm just going to throw some bookcases and some candles and like, boom, bada bing, bada boom. And that was done. And uh, it ended up being something I really liked and is now like kind of iconic or synonymous with the channel. And uh, it's really cool to see it recreated. This is this is really neat. <laughs> Amazing. You literally got the Kryptonian floor sealed, too. It's so perfect. That's that's nuts. Oh, man, that's that's crazy Sinji. you're super talented wow really well done <laughs> oh and then here's a table that sends you made too this represents them as well i do believe oh, so cool <laughs> an extra camera of course oh man and then we're back to the the main entrance hall here but let's go check out what's in the back room because i do believe there is something i saw a vault actually so, uh, let's dive in here. Oh! We have some pets! Hello, guys! Oh, and then we have a garden! Oh my gosh, look at this! Oh, it's so cool. Ooh! Oh, look at this tranquil reflecting garden! Oh, this is gorgeous! Different worlds combining here. This is very, very neat. I love it. Oh, <laughs> this is great. So this is a garden and it looks like it has statues of the founding members of base crafters in it. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. What do you think, guys? Huh? <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, man. Wow. So cool. <laughs> and a pedestal here. This is great. This is almost like a Nexus garden. I love it. Oh, hi, guy. Look at you, poopers. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is, this is great. Look at all the columns. Yeah, like, this is great. It's like magic tech and meta all, like, fusing together. That is just very cool. Look at that. Yes! Right, pup? Oh, right. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous, Sinju. All right. Well, I don't know if there's anything past the wall, but I am going to go take a look at Spy Over. And see. It looks pretty empty. Oh, there are a few things down here. I hope I'm okay. it's okay to show these. I know Sinju, like I said, does style, so these are going to be some upcoming ones for the channel, probably. I'll just give you guys a quick look over, in case I'm spoiling anything. You guys should go check out Sinju's channel, though. <laughs> oh my god. No way. Sinju, you did not! No! <laughs> well... <clears throat> I do believe this was set up for a very particular reason. And I, it looks like I'm going to get caught in 4K, unfortunately, because how can I not try and practice the Moonlight Sonata uh, in all its glory in the Base Crafters HQ? <laughs> Absolutely. Wow, that's... <laughs> The Piano Bandit strikes again, and you know what? I guess I have to embrace it, because it looks like I totally got caught in 4K. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sinju, this is absolutely incredible. This whole base is just absolutely gorgeous. You did such a beautiful job. Like, really, really well done, my friend. Like, this is, this is really is gorgeous. And just so much fun. Like, it, the amount of talent it took to, like, recreate all those people's different bases is just beyond me. So this is great. And I, like, thank you so much for doing this for the community, too. That, it's just, it's really cool. And also, thank you so much to the Base Crafters community, too. I say this all the time, but the base building community on DCUO is one of the best like gaming communities I've ever been a part of. Everybody's like super helpful and just really nice and just really, really great. Like just really cool. So if you guys want to join us over there, you're always more than welcome. I always have the link in the description down below if you're interested. Uh, 
But yeah, that's, I do believe that is the end of Base Crafters HQ. So again, Sinju, thank you so much for taking this project upon yourself and sharing it with us. And also looking at all our bases and recreating them. That is so, so cool. <laughs> maybe one day we'll do a part two or somebody else will do a part two. Maybe that'll be, that'll be interesting to see. So, um... Oh, man. Really, really great stuff. So, yeah. Thank you so much for sharing this with us, Sinju. And thank you guys so much for watching. Um, new announcements. Uh, Base Off's still going on. You guys have, uh, I think, just a little oh, less than a week, actually, when this is coming out. You guys have, like, I think till Wednesday. Ooh. So it's coming up. And the Base Off stream will be next Friday, I'm hoping. It actually might be Sunday. I'm not sure. We'll see how many entries we get. Uh, and we'll, we'll play it by ear from, from there. So, um... Yeah, no, I think that's about it on announcements. I don't know if there's going to be a Monday video or not. I'm filming this a little bit ahead of time, so we will see, but I doubt it. Uh, so maybe next Monday you guys will get one, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, I think that's about it. So again, thank you so much, Death Sinju, for sharing your absolutely incredible base and and taking this upon yourself to, to shine a light on the community. That's, that's very, very cool. So again, thank you so much for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and I will catch you in the next one. Take care, everybody.